is Sarah with Sarah Saves 07. Happy October 10th. Today is October 10th and it is World Mental Health Day. If you are new here or if you um, don't listen to my videos, <laughs> I'm an advocate for mental health and for a lot of reasons, my own mental health, my family's mental health, the things I've seen with my friends and family. Um, mental health is a giant priority in my life for many reasons, but specifically today is World Mental Health Day. I did some research on, you know, what makes, what makes it World Mental Health Day? And I went to the WHO's website, World Health Organization's website, and this year's theme for the World Mental Health Day is mental health at work. And before I jump into all of the statistics and everything that I got from their website, I want to point out that last night Hurricane Milton hit the Florida coast, hit Florida in general, crossed over Florida. Um, last week, Hurricane Helene hit uh, essentially North Carolina. Um, what a toll on your mental health would that be? What a toll on losing everything like they did in North Carolina. What a toll it would take to lose your home, to lose your car, to lose the people you love. So I, I, I bring that up not to be a Debbie Downer, but to remind everyone that mental health doesn't necessarily just mean the chronic illnesses either. So I, I deal with anxiety and depression. Many people deal with, you know, bipolar and um, a lot of different mental health issues, schizophrenia, all of those things. They're chronic. We take medications every day. But what happens when you lose your home and your car and your, your loved one overnight? Those are acute circumstances and we need to really be thinking and praying and helping those people because that kind of mental health is something that changes your life in an instant. And I can't fathom that heartbreak and that turmoil that they are going through. So I am thinking of everyone who's going through that. Um, I'm thinking of your physical needs, but I'm also thinking of your mental and your emotional needs as well. All right, let's get into this. So these are my mental health tinies and minis that are on my Etsy shop. They're a dollar for the tinies. They're $2 for the minis. They're very affordable um, if you are interested in those. <clears throat> I'm going to put my tinies in my tiny binder once I get another one available, another pocket available. But this is my Break the Stigma binder. I play this about once a month or so. This is available in my Etsy shop as well. And I have a bunch, I think nine different challenges in here. And I'm doing pretty good in here. I do use prop money for this binder because I don't use it so often. So I am going to be adding $75 to this binder today. And it probably will do um, a lot for this binder. $75 will do a lot for this binder. And that's okay because I have a lot more challenges in mind that I need to just get the time to be creative enough to create the actual challenges. Just haven't had time to do that. Uh, but I look forward to being able to make a new binder, a new mental health binder. So let's get into it. Um, today is World Mental Health Day. It is mental health at work is what it is about. 60% of the population in our country works, which... I actually kind of thought it would be higher than that to tell you the truth, but actually I'm just gonna keep track of this on a calculator if I can remember while I'm talking. 60% um, of the population works. That's a lot, but um, it's also, well, I don't know, that's a lot. 60% is a lot of people who work. But the reason that mental health at work is really important is because it, causes safe and healthy working environments can protect your mental health. So like if you like going to work and you enjoy your job and you feel safe at work, then you're going to perform better and you're going to want to go to work and you're not going to want to call off for mental health problems for a mental health day, right? So what causes an unhealthy 
work environment for mental health. That was a five. I'm gonna do one more on here, and that's a four. So $9 plus nine. So $17 so far. This one is my trying my best. Hello, my name is trying my best. This is an individual challenge also on my Etsy, this one here. Uh, it also comes in this packet, but you can just get this one individually. Let me know what you guys think. Would you prefer individual packet, individual challenges or a binder? Uh, I know binders are more expensive, but technically it's cheaper than buying it individually. <laughs> uh, I might just put one or two up individually and then make a binder itself. The next one is Tomorrow Needs You. Let's scratch this one. And that's just a one plus one. Oh, see, it did plus 11. The stinking binder. Oh my goodness gracious. My calculator is broken. Should have just done this in my head. Nine, 10, 11, 12, plus six is 18. 18. Um, okay, so back to my stuff here. What's an unhealthy working environment for your mental health? I forget my number already. <laughs> oh God, eight plus nine is 17, 18, 18 dollars, 18. Um, if there are stigmas at work, so say you do have a mental health problem and there's a stigma about that. Say you have bipolar and you go into work and the only people, people only know bipolar as like the manic episode. They only know people who were manic with bipolar. So they treat you differently. Uh, well, that's not going to make you want to go to work, right? Um, if there's discrimination against you, well, she has bipolar or she has depression she's gonna just be a debbie downer let's not invite her to lunch it's 21 uh that would be discrimination right uh harassment why are you here you should be at home you can't work you have you're manic well that would be not helpful either it would decrease your quality of life. It would decrease your productivity at work. And then you'd get in trouble. And then you would maybe get fired because you have a really crappy working environment. That is plus four of 31. You are not your thoughts. So how do we improve that? It has to involve your employer. It has to involve government agencies making policy to make it better, to force your employer to make it better. And it has to involve the workers or the representatives, people who understand mental health or have mental health issues, it has to involve all of those people together, people who have lived and experienced the problems. But in reality, what we really, really need is more education. We need more education on mental health. We need awareness. We need training. We need engagement. We need inclusivity for people who have mental health problems. Um, you know, when you get hired at a job and they make you do those training modules like harassment, like sexual harassment stuff. And you know, they're not just to annoy the heck out of you, right? They are annoying, they take forever. And, and it's like, some of it's like, duh, I know not to inappropriately touch someone, right? What about, do you know how to treat someone who, this is 40. Do you know how to treat someone who is going through a manic episode? Do you know what to do? Should you let them alone? Should you call 911? Should you offer them help? Should you get them medicine? Should you walk them home, make sure they get home safe? What should you do? Do you know? Should you ask your coworkers in a safe environment Whenever they are not in a manic episode, like what happens when they do go in a manic episode? What are the signs and symptoms? What should you, what would they prefer you do? You know, those are things that you have to ask yourself. And those are what things employers need to train you on so that um, everyone has the same opportunity to get a job. You know, you we complain about people in our country getting on disability for things, right? Well, 
if you don't want to hire someone who has a mental health problem because you're scared that they might not be as productive, that is 50 now, they might not be as productive or they might have an episode in the middle of work one day and decrease productivity for everyone else, then you need to train yourself and you need to train the people that are going to be working with them on how to um, deal with that episode and move the hell on. Move on. Figure it out. Train the people around you. Um, talk to the human being that is having the episode and figure out what to do if that circumstances arrive, circumstance arrives. Sorry, guys, this calculator is trash as a trash can. It's at 58. Um, and it's, it's really, really that easy. It's really about being good humans, not always thinking about the bottom line, which is what we do. We always think about the bottom line. And I understand that businesses do need to do that. But uh, when 60% of your population works and most people have some semblance of mental health issues, then you, we have to include this in our work. All right, I'm off of my soapbox now. <laughs> okay, guys, plus five. We are at $72, so we have three more dollars. I'm just going to add a three here and make it 75. I probably did all of that math wrong because this dang calculator is trash. All right, World Mental Health Day. This year's theme is mental health at work. Things we need to do, we need to include, we need to include our employers, our government, and those who have lived and experienced uh, mental health and their themselves and their representatives to create policy within our working environments to create safe and non-discriminatory working environments for people to work in. If we want people to work and we want to be inclusive and non-discriminatory, then we have to do this all the time. We have to support people. We have to break the stigma that mental health patients have that prevent them from being hired, from seeking jobs. We need to raise awareness. We need to have training and engagement and inclusivity so that we can increase productivity, so that we can increase their quality of life, okay? And, and that's what's really important about mental health at work. If you hate your job, if you don't feel supported, and understood, you're not going to do a good job at your work and you're going to leave. Period. You've all been there. And if you stay, you're not going to love it and you're go your mental health is going to suffer because of it. So while my videos are usually about breaking the stigma out in the community and out in the world, this video is about World Mental Health Day today and what it represents, which is mental health at work. So I hope that that wasn't too awful boring. <laughs> um, here's my $75 I'm adding to this binder. Let's see how much we have in this binder so far. We did, I didn't, I didn't talk about like any of my challenges in here and I apologize. If you're new to my videos, this is not what my typical videos look like. Uh, it's not usual, but... It's not a bad way to have a video either. We need to include people, okay? We need to make sure people are, are heard and loved. So far, this, this binder has 100, 200, 220, 230, 235, 240, 242, 244, 246, $246. And today we have three left on hello my name is trying my best we have one left on this really pretty brain here two, one, uh, two left on tomorrow needs you a few left on if you feel like crying cry three left on you are not your thoughts a few left on prove them wrong we finished 
You are busy doubting yourself while some people are intimidated by your potential. We have two more on healing is not linear. And we finished this one. We did self-love today. All right, guys. I do have one more thing if you'll stick around. Every video this month I've been doing my No One Goes Hungry and I have been scratching an extra one on my World Mental Health Day. One of these, I've been doing one on every one of them. So let's just do another one of these. That's a two. This challenge total saves $25. I'll do another one and that's another two. Okay. So four more going into here. I actually have a five over here. So five more dollars into this one. So far we have 20, which means these are gonna only equal $5 because this one equals 25 total. Okay. And then my no one goes hungry. This is also in my shop. It's very affordable. I'm going to be donating the proceeds of this challenge to my local food bank. Um, that's a three. Let's do another one. And a five is eight. And I only had six. So um, I will take $2 from my, my next video I'm doing. I am going to take $2 from that to make it right. So far then we have, this one saves 40, 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oops, 35. <laughs> 36, 37, 38. Oh, so this is only a two. Okay. Well, my next video, I will make this one right. Because I had $10 set aside for these challenges for each video this week. So I'll just have $8 set aside for this next one. And I only need two. So that makes it okay. All right. I am taking my kids to the grocery store to teach them how to be empathetic and understand that people don't always know where their food is coming from and we need to show them. All right, guys, happy World Mental Health Day. If you don't feel safe, understood, or heard in your work environment, you should go talk to your boss about it. And if you feel threatened or harassed or stigmatized, you should go talk to their boss about it. And unfortunately, um, each state is different on how things go with hiring and firing. But uh, if you're union, just go, go to them. Talk to your representative. Um, mental health is a priority. And if you feel unheard in your job, then you need to bring it up. Don't be scared. All right, guys. Thinking of you all in Florida and in North Carolina. Bye.